Are you guys wondering why the cost of any 3DS console is extremely expensive and continuing to get more and more expensive? Well, I have a few theories as to why. Also, once I hit 9,000 subscribers, I'm going to be giving away a $10 Nintendo eShop gift card for your Switch, so make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and comment down below after you've done that so I can enter you into the giveaway. Alright, so let's just start off with some of the more basic stuff right here. The demand for anything 3DS related is extremely high and constantly growing. This includes games, consoles, faceplates, or other random accessories for the 3DS. When the demand for a product is really high, that typically means that the prices for that product are going to go up really, really high. So basically, because so many people are wanting a 3DS, that means the prices are going to be driven up higher and higher as the demand continues to grow and grow. Also, I think the demand is so high for the 3DS because people realized over time how unique this console is and how it's so much different than the Switch. Like, the Switch and the 3DS are completely different. The Switch is awesome, and the 3DS is awesome. The 3DS is probably one of the most unique consoles ever made. You can just play so many games on here, and it's just such a unique, portable console. It's definitely a favorite for a lot of people, and I think that makes the demand really high. Not even to mention that the games on the 3DS are great. So many amazing first-party games and third-party games some of these third-party companies can make really amazing games for the 3DS. Pretty much every single 3DS console is the same price as a Nintendo Switch. Like, the Switch is like $200 or $250 or something. Most 3DS consoles are around that range. You can get some for cheaper. Like, the first edition 3DS, I think, is like the cheapest one. You can pretty much get that for around $100-ish. But, yeah, it's crazy to think that the 3DS is still super expensive due to its old age. It's like a 10-year-old console. Going on with the age of it, it's out of production, meaning Nintendo doesn't create any more 3DS consoles, and they haven't for some time now it's been a few years so basically the supply is going to go down constantly i'm sure that many 3ds consoles break every single day like people can drop it they can spill water on it run it over do whatever they do to break the console and it just doesn't work anymore and because nintendo's not making anything that means there are no new 3ds consoles being made which means the supply is less and less which that doesn't honestly have a huge effect on the demand because there are millions of 3DS consoles out there, like Nintendo probably made millions upon millions of 3DS consoles in total, like, and I mean from the 3DS to the 2DS, 2DS XL, and the 3DS, or the new 3DS, I mean, there's a lot, there's a lot to it, so I'm sure there's more than enough consoles to satisfy everyone's needs, but yeah, basically, those are some reasons why I think the demand is extremely high for the 3DS. There are several different variations of the 3DS, all with different prices. I'm pretty sure the cheapest one is the 2DS, not the 2DS XL, just the regular 2DS that doesn't fold. I mean, that's kind of self-explanatory why it's the cheapest one. It's definitely like the more kid-friendly. It's like a brick. You can't fold it. It's more for home use. It's not as portable as, you know, like the foldable 3DS, of course, but... The 2DS is still pretty cool. I'd like to get my hands on one. I've heard that it's the most comfortable one. I've never actually held one. I've only seen a few at like video game shops and stuff like that. And then we go on to the original model 3DS, like the release model, which is like, you know, the blue one with the small screen or whatever. Those are around, you know, 100 to 150-ish, typically probably to like 130-ish, if you get a good one, of course. You could buy like a broken one for pretty cheap, but... Then we move on to the 2DS XL, which I got mine for a pretty good deal. I think I got mine for about 160 and it came with like two games, but that was about a year and a half ago. Since then, I'm pretty sure the 2DS XL goes for roughly 200 or more dollars, which is crazy. And then I think the most expensive 3DS consoles would be the new 3DS consoles, which I know technically the 2DS XL is a new 2DS XL, but the new 3DS XL is a little bit better and more desirable than the 2DS XL. Like the Galaxy new 3DS XL sells for like 200, 300 ish, which is already crazy because like that's for a used one. That's not brand new. That's for a used console. That price is already really high. And if you think that's crazy, the the red and blue 20th anniversary new 3DS console is selling for roughly $700 used. That's not even sealed. Sealed is like well over a thousand dollars. I think. This might be the most desired new 3DS console because it has like the uh, Charizard and Blastoise and stuff on the faceplate and it comes with a really cool box too. But it's just crazy to think how expensive some of these 3DS consoles are. The reason why the new 3DS consoles are more desired is because they have better processors, which is another reason why there are a few games that are new 3DS only 
and with the addition of the C stick, at least I'm pretty sure it's called the C stick, which is like another button slash control that you can use for some of these new 3DS games. They also have a bigger and better screen. The 3D effect is better. The battery lasts way longer. It's a sleeker looking console. It charges faster. And I'm pretty sure there's also built in Amiibo support rather than having an external Amiibo reader, which is definitely a desired factor with these new 3ds consoles so pretty much people want these new 3ds consoles because they're significantly better than the old 3ds models even with that though the original 3ds models are still pretty expensive and they're still really cool like it's still definitely worth it to buy one of the older model 3ds consoles another huge reason why the 3ds consoles are really desired and going up in value is because you can mod them so easily it's extremely easy to mod there's so many tutorials online it probably takes you know 10 15 minutes maybe 20 minutes even 30 minutes which isn't even that much time just to mod your console and you could download any 3ds game any ds game or game boy game for free and it plays wonderfully like it's literally just getting the game for free Pretty much everyone that has a 3DS mods it. Like, I'm I'm gonna just guess a number here. I have no idea. I have no real statistics behind this. I'm gonna guess, like, at least 50 to 60% of people with 3DS consoles have them modded that are into 3DS. You know, a lot of people have them and they just have them sitting in a drawer and they forgot about them. But I mean, like, the, the community that is playing them currently every single day, they probably have them modded. In the end, though, any 3DS console is great. They're all just so unique. They're desired by everyone. It's really a perfect portable gaming console. It fits so easily in anyone's bag or in anyone's pocket. It's one of the, it's definitely one of the coolest consoles ever made. It's also really neat because it's like, you know, the DS and the DSi were really cool. And even like the, you know, the Game Boy and everything. But it's just like the 3DS is everything in one, but better, if that makes any sense. I still think one of the coolest features on the 3DS was the Street Pass. And I really wish the Switch had something like that. I don't really know how the Switch would do with that though, because it's not easy to walk around with a Switch in public. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and comment, and enter the giveaway. Just subscribe and leave a comment down below letting me know you did that. And I'll see you guys in the next video.